back side of Great Harbor. Well, front side, I guess it doesn't matter. Nice little storm cell over there. Tried earlier to get some pictures, but I was filming the water instead of the horizon. But it almost looks like that little storm cell is trying to form a water spout. A little bumpy, but this is our temporary anchorage um, for the next 12 hours ish uh, before we take up anchor and head to Bimini. It is right off of the Royal Caribbean Cruise Line private beach. Browns Marina and we're doing a little cruisers get together. A few of us are waiting to have a weather window to get across to go back to Florida and a few are waiting to go explore more of the Bahamas. A little bumpy. Mike and Sherman. Out for a walk. Oh, here he comes. Okay, careful. Be careful. We're up a little earlier today. Um, because one of the couple that we met here at uh, the St. Lucie Lock Campground and Marina is heading out today. No rush. Joe and Lynn are doing the Great Loop. So they started and come down the Mississippi. They've gone across the Gulf. They've come around. They've gone through Lake Okeechobee. Now they're here at St. Lucie Lock and they're heading out off to Fort Pierce for today. And then continuing their adventure on the Great Loop. And uh, hopefully when they get to Ontario, they have our contact information. Maybe we can meet up for a sundowner, which we've been doing the last couple of nights here at the St. Lucie Lock with the few boats that are here.
by St. Lucie Lock Campground and Marina. Quaint place. Highly recommend it. Off to Indian Town. Pardon me? Off to Indian Town. Off to Indian Town, absolutely. is one of the trailer tires. Pretty good shape, isn't it? Not. So, we wait and we go get some new tires tomorrow and then off we go back home. <sighs> Life is never dull with the mountains. Be in either of the two right lanes, then take the exit toward Peace Bridge. Back on Canadian soil. At 11.32 on this Sunday, Easter Sunday. Mm -hmm. 